hello friends so in this video i am going to show you how we can create user panel in php inventory management system so now please watch carefully because you can see we are going to use same functionalities like admin but we have to change little bit things so we are going to just copy and paste so first of all here you can see we have this index page login page this is these are html page inside user folder that all html files i am going to delete inside user folder so you can see that is deleted now in this index.php here you can see we forwarded on demo.php now we are going to create one dashboard.php so i am going to save as this demo and going to give name dashboard.php yeah so now we are going to check it works proper or not right now we don't have login page uh, sorry logout page so directly i'm going to use this login page you can see now we are on dashboard page so this is fine now we are going to change the menu first so here i am going to open this header.php here I am going to remove this li this dashboard is fine here I am going to give link of dashboard.php now I am going to copy this link paste here I am going to change the heading purchase master we will create the page okay now i am going to copy this again paste here we are going to give name sales master and here we have to give name sales master.php then purchase report Here I am going to give name purchase underscore report dot php. Yeah, now here yes, yeah, purchase report. Right now we don't have this page, but don't worry, we are going to create this page. Here we are going to give name sales report and sales report and. and return products so let me write return products here we are going to give name view underscore bills dot php now copy paste stock master here we are going to give name stockmaster.php here return product list and here yeah return product list.php now what we have to do here just let me show you so we'll get an exact idea what things we have to copy and paste first of all you can see inside this admin folder we have this four edges folder so i am going to copy this folder i just copy this folder and i am going to paste inside this user folder okay so we got here this folder for edges now we have to copy this page purchase master purchase report this all page 
we have to copy so just here from this admin folder select purchase master then purchase report then return dot php then return product list then sales master then stock master then view be de view bills details and view bills so i am going to just copy these things and i am going to paste inside this user folder so here here you can see we got these things now in index page it means our this login page we have to use session so let me first close this all page i open only this index page here i am going to write session start and here we are going to take yeah dollar username so i am going to copy this session user and we are going to open this all page purchase master here we have to use user purchase report user in all our pages we have to use here session user just do step by step it is not difficult so don't worry about it yeah so this is fine now i am going to open this for widgets folder if you use here any session admin then we have to change that to session user so i think these all are fine now let me close all and let me open this purchase master and here check the insert query here we have session admin so i am going to change your session user then purchase report find if we have any any place at session here you can see session admin so i have to use session user wherever you are getting values of session admin you have to change to session user that i am going to change okay so this is fine now here i am going to show you here you can see all the menus but we have to change one thing and that is from this header we have to remove this class active because we are getting blue background in all the menus it means all are active so we are going to remove these things and now you can see this is fine now purchase master okay let me log in again now we have value inside session so each and every page will be open yeah here we have to change so here you can see calendar is not opening so now let me open 
footer page footer page of admin i am going to copy these things and i am going to paste inside this footer so paste here and from admin panel we have to copy this data picker folder so i am going to copy this and in user i am going to paste so now here you can see it looks good now calendar is opening everything is working here so purchase report this is the sales report this is the view bills detail view bills this is the stock master this is the return product list in stock master in edit okay we have to take edit stock master let me copy this page in this stock master.php user cannot edit stock so from this stock master we are going to remove this link because user does not have a permit to edit the stock so stock master is ready return product list is also ready now if you want to purchase anything then it is also available here if you want to buy anything expiry date so you can see everything is working here now if you want to buy any product sorry sell any product then sales master from here you can sell any product so here you can see we have these things generated bill bill generated successfully here you can see this is current generated bill here if you want to take as a return then this is also in working mode so you can see now these all functionalities are working here now we have to do here logout page so for logout page here i have to create one page in user side logout.php here same thing we have to write whatever we written in admin side session start session destroy then script and here we have to write window.location is equal to index.php now let me close all page i am going to open this header in header we have to change it two places here logout page so logout.php here dashboard.php let me find logout at one more plus here yeah logout.php So you can see everything is in working mode now. Here, if you want to take return product list, you want to check between two date like twenty third November. So I am going to take here Twenty one November two. Here you can see we are getting this value. So this is working fine. So everything is working fine. Now you can see whatever we we mention in our project list that we are going to cover these things. These all things we covered. In next video, I am going to show you that how we can make this dashboard. 
here we are going to display total number of product and etc etc so in next video i am going to show you how we can create dashboard thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again